money with money, you get taxed very at very low rates, 15% dividends mm. and capital gains, no payroll tax. If you make money with muscle or hard work or sweat of your brow, you get taxed at rates that move on up. And most of the people, the middle class, gets taxed rates of either 15 or 25 on their income tax, but then they get really hit hard on the payroll tax, and that's what brings the rates in our office up to an average of 36% if you leave me out. Talking about the money in anonymous LLCs today. And for those of you who do not know who Miss Aurora is, I am Miss Aurora Day, and I have helped hundreds of entrepreneurs build six and seven figure tax free businesses. Okay, you heard that right. And I am the founder of the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. So, what I'm doing is creating business strategies and wealth cycles for entrepreneurs internationally. Why? Because no one's going to come out here and pay tax on income. All right. The tax system, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I don't know what all these things are, but somebody's going to educate Miss Aurora, okay? What you need to know is that the tax system is the same in every country. The tax brackets that we have here, ranging from 10% to 37% on income, that's on income, that's across the board, okay? So wherever you go, you're going to have the same tax brackets in whatever country. So a lot of people do not know that. They think that, you know, tax is different in other countries. No, it is the same across the board. Okay. So what happens is that the Internal Revenue Service says, could you please let us know about any monies that you've made over $600? All we're asking you to do is let us know how much money you've made either personally or within some type of business entity that you give us permission to tax. Remember, now this is this is the meat right here that I wanted to share today. What people don't understand is that when you go on irs.gov, they're going to tell you that limited liability companies are governed by their state's statutes. What does that mean? Whenever it is that you organize a limited liability co company in a state, that organization is governed by the statutes of that state. The Internal Revenue Service tells us we don't want anything to do with you. As a matter of fact, we don't have anything to do with you. We don't get into your affairs until you put us in your affair. How does the entrepreneur make the Internal Revenue Service part of their affairs? They're going to take a tax election, okay? So here's here's where the problem comes in. And here's where people start saying, oh my God, I cannot believe I did not know this. Number one, number one, there are two options when you create an anonymous, when you create a, a limited liability company, period. I'm going to get on the anonymity in a second. You can either be member managed or manager managed. Now, why are people encouraged to check the box that says member? Well, member means that you're going to pay tax. And what they like to tell you is, you know, there has to be at least one member in a limited liability company. Is that what my state statute tells me? Probably not. My state statute tells me all the things that I can do with this organization, okay? So they ask me, do you want to be managed by a member or do you want to be managed by a manager? They ask me this, right? Now, if you don't know any better, you're checking member because that's what people do. That's what you've been told to do. I don't know who's telling people this, okay? So you never check manager, but when it is that you check manager, that means that you do not have to pay yourself. Now, how many of you know that the moment that you start talking about you're going to pay yourself, you're, you're considered like a poor person? That's a poverty mindset. I have to pay myself, okay? And I have to pay myself so that I can pay taxes because I'm supposed to pay taxes well, newsflash, everything that you do in this life is tax. You can't buy a stick of gum without paying tax, okay? You can't cross a toll without paying tax. You can't register your automobile without paying tax, okay? There's, there's, there's a tax 
on everything. You can't buy airline ticket without paying tax, okay? You can't go buy jewelry without paying tax, all right? So you have to now understand how the system works to create tax-free wealth, all right? So now when you check the box manager, that gives you the authority to say, oh, check this out. I don't work in this company. I manage this company. And any physical labor that I give to this company is because I volunteered it. Jeff Bezos, it looks like you made a billion dollars this year. We're gonna tax half of that. Actually, you can't because I didn't earn any income. My company just went up in value and that caused my shares in Amazon to increase, which is why it shows that I made a billion dollars. Okay, good try, but eventually you're gonna have to sell your shares to get spendable money. Then we will hit you with capital gains tax, which will tax you based on how much your assets went up in value. In this case, your shares of Amazon. Well, what if I just never sell my shares? I mean, you could do that, but then you aren't going to have any money and you wouldn't be able to actually buy anything. Nope. When I want money, all I have to do is take out a loan from the bank and use my assets as collateral. In this case, I'll put up my Amazon shares as collateral that the bank can take from me if I don't pay them back with interest. Now I get my money and we can't tax you because debt is tax free. Exactly. Well, won't you have to pay back the loan? How will you have enough money to do that? Well, first of all, I get super low interest rates because, well, I'm so rich. Plus, Amazon will almost certainly grow enough to pay back the loan and more. And overall, it's still way cheaper than paying tax. Jeez, that's smart. Where'd you learn this email that came in to Jessica? Because this is really good. Hi, Jessica. I just watched Aurora's videos on YouTube and the video on the homepage explaining the financial structure she is recommending to set up to, to go from sole proprietor to CEO. Wow, it looks amazing and she made it so easy to understand. So for those of you who have not had the opportunity to see that, it's a nine minute training video. I believe that's what she's referring to here. Go to auroradayconsulting.com and you will be able to uh, watch the same video that she's talking about. Yes, OBS needs to get it together. Well, it's, tech, it's, it's TT that needs to get it together, okay? And she goes on to say, I hope you don't mind. I have a few questions that are specific to my personal situation. I'm in the UK, and I'm wondering if Aurora's teachings work for me over here too. I'm going to answer this. Do you recommend I set it up in the USA and operate it from here? Or do you recommend that we set it up according to the tax system here in the UK? So she doesn't know that the, the, the system is about the same. Also, have you had any students complete the course from out with, she's probably saying from outside of the USA. And if so, which countries were they from? Looking forward to hearing your thoughts and inputs. Thank you so much in advance. Okay, now I'm going to answer the first question. I'm in the UK and I'm wondering if Aurora's teachings work for me over here too. Yes. What this young lady is about to find out, because we're going to give her a clip of this, me answering this right now. All of the secure entrepreneurs know that we have a large base of entrepreneurs there in the UK. Why? Many of the entrepreneurs there in the UK know that you can start a company here in the United States and not be a United States citizen. It is 100% legal for any person in any other country to create a business here in the United States without being a United States citizen and without even having to live in the United States. So we have an entire base of UK uh, entrepreneurs. We have a base of Dubai entrepreneurs we have a few uh, entrepreneurs there in Spain, and I picked up a few entrepreneurs on my last trip to France this past November, okay? I went to a meeting. <laughs> I went to a meeting in Cannes, and I met a lot of the French entrepreneurs, and I got a chance to talk to them about a lot of the brick and mortar stores and the companies there and and, and, and how they cater to tourism and, and local people and, and all that homegrown food that they make up there and everything like that. Hey, Philip. OK, so I had the opportunity to uh, get some 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 French clients and all that stuff. All right. Now. So so the answer to her is yes, the system works across the board because it doesn't matter what country it doesn't matter what country you are in. The wealth cycle is going to work the same. 
The wealth cycle works the same in any country. Why? Because they all have private entities. They all have entities that will that are passed through tax entities. Okay. If in fact this young lady wants to have a company here in the United States and operate a company here in the United States, which is what most of them want to do. Yes, she can set the company up here in the United States. We will make sure that she has a bank, both, both here and there for this entity that she can do. Yes. Or do you recommend that we set it up according to the tax system here in the UK? The tax system is the same. So she can have an entity here and a, and a very similar entity there in the UK. And she could be passing the monies through to, a, a, you know, between the two, between the two tax free. Understand that, that that would be legally tax free doing it this way. And she can have an entire wealth cycle the way that she saw in the video that she's raving about. She can have it set up here in the United States and we can also do the same entities there in the UK. Now we do this a lot in Dubai because we have a lot of secured entrepreneurs who are doing that turnkey real estate there. So all we do is we put a, a company that is very similar to a limited liability company together there. The money goes in there because they are 100% tax free. There is no tax there. There, Dubai, uh, and we also like um, Austria because a lot of the a lot of the clients are choosing Austria because that is the that is like one of the only countries where you could actually be a private citizen. I don't know how many of the entrepreneurs online know about that, but they are buying their way into Austria because they have the opportunity to actually become a private citizen there. Okay. So how much do we love that? So this young lady can do exactly what our Dubai entrepreneurs are doing and our uh, entrepreneurs there in France who are operating out of Monaco. Again, 100% tax free income you make, the more tax you pay, the more wealth you build, the less tax you pay. How does that work? Most people, you earn income, and the more you earn, the higher the tax. You earn it, you spend it, you save it, you pay tax on it. However, what if instead of spending it, what if instead of saving it, what if you put it back into your business? No tax there, because you get to deduct it. What if instead you put it into one of the seven investments, especially real estate, business, technology, agriculture or energy. Now you're building wealth and you're paying no tax.